TV network Nickelodeon is set to have their characters face off in a mascot brawler coming to the Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation platforms this fall, or potentially just specifically October 5th if you are to listen to the Nintendo eShop as there's some confusion around the release date of this game, which that and the fact that it's published by Game Mill probably gives you the impression that this is a budget title that you're not going to want to pay any attention to. But kind of like the Nickelodeon Kart Racer game that came out last year, the sequel, not the first one, but the second one, it actually looks like it's going to be pretty good. I enjoyed that kart racer game, and I talked about it a bit last year, but this game really has the Smash Bros. competitive community in particular very excited to see how this turns out. Obviously, Nintendo has shied away from having Smash Bros. be particularly a competitive focused game. They're not one to want to put on many competitions for the game or back it. But this game, Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, seems to be very competitive focused. In fact, the developers have borrowed a lot from Super Smash Bros. Melee, including even the wave dashing mechanic, as well as launching with five legal stages, which is to say, again, they want to make this be a competitive game. And that's why there are these legal stages that aren't riddled with RNG and things that are going to constantly catch up players that, you know, take the skill out of the game and make it feel more randomized. And in the interviews that I've seen with developers in Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, it really seems like they know their stuff when it comes to Super Smash Bros. and are very passionate about it, and they're really making this game as a labor of love towards the Smash Bros. community, and obviously they're doing it because they're being paid, and this is very legitimate because it's being done, you know, with Nickelodeon characters, but you typically see a game published by Game Mill, and if you're familiar with the game industry, you just think that's shovelware, but... For once, it seems like Game Mill may be publishing a game that is going to turn out to be pretty reputable and quite a big deal compared to their previous releases. This is no means going to dwarf Smash Bros. and become more popular, but I think that in a niche sense, this game is going to have an impact in the competitive scene, but also in, you know, the individuals that are just like, wow, I like Nickelodeon characters, I want to check this game out. I mean, there's a pretty cool roster of old characters and new characters. I'm not too big on the newer Nickelodeon characters because I'm not familiar with those shows, but these older characters I think will be awesome to see in a fighting game like this. The roster includes characters from Avatar The Last Airbender, Cat Dog, Danny Phantom, Hey Arnold, Invader Zim, Rugrat, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as well as some of the newer shows like Legend of Korra, Loud House, Awe, Real Monsters, and then a couple older shows as well, Red and Stimpy, the Wild Thornberries. I do think it's weird that the Fairly Odd Parents aren't in this, or Nickelodeon doesn't have you know Jimmy Neutron in this. Those are something I would love to see and are still being re-ran to my knowledge quite frequently. So I think those are some strange exclusions but cool to see what is in here. Maybe they come as DLC in the future. I know this is probably gonna release for a budget title price of like 50 bucks, you know, under the typical MSRP. That's typically what Game Mill does, so I wouldn't be entirely surprised if DLC came out later on as well. Now, to my knowledge, none of these characters are voice acted in any of the trailers, any of the gameplay, and I expect that not to change anytime before release. The kart racer characters were never voice acted, so Odds are these characters will be completely mute, which is, you know, boring from a fan standpoint, but makes sense due to the budgetary constraints of trying to get those actors or similar actors to come in for all of these different characters. So it's not something like that that's stopping Timmy Turner or Jimmy Neutron from appearing in this game, but I would love to see them be in there at some point. While it seems like many folks online are obviously very excited to see this game be released, see how competitive, how good it is, it has kind of drawn a light to how poor the competitive Smash community is as far as the content Nintendo puts out for them to work with. And I don't think it's something that you should be overwhelmingly upset with. If this budget title turns out to be a better fighter than Nintendo has, you know, that's disappointing, but it's, you know, you have this to play instead. As a Madden fan, we don't really have another true football game to play. We don't really have another option. We have these fan-made games. They are even more of a emphasis on budget title than this is because they're made by, you know, teams of like one, two, three people like Canuck Plays was putting out the Doug Flutie games. So to have an option is just remarkable to have another game that kind of satisfies that need, be it a budget title or not. Just the fact that it's something that's playable and it's out there and receiving a widespread release on all console platforms is something that should be exciting and very welcoming, regardless of the fact that, you know, the big name game, Smash Bros, isn't living up to what you want. You should be happy that something like this is coming along to even 
fill that void. And if this has all the mechanics and exactly the type of gameplay you're looking for, and they do release DLC for it, buy the DLC and show support for these developers because you know maybe one day they'll have the opportunity to release a sequel or to be able to give this game a long life through constant you know updates and adding new content if the DLC is purchased show them that you like this type of game if it turns out to be the whole fan letter that it kind of seems like it's going to be for the Smash Bros community let me know what your thoughts on this game are. It's going to be out in a couple of weeks if the Nintendo eShop page is correct. So I'm excited to see it on, I want to say, October 5th. Again, kind of speculative if that's actually the release date yet as it hasn't been confirmed on other platforms or even on the Nickelodeon website itself. So we'll see if that's when it actually ends up coming out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Bailey and I will see you in the next video.